Hello, Cherie Hansen here. First thing I want to talk about is I would be very, very pleased if you would come on my cheriehansen.com site and subscribe. I have uh, 73,000 subscribers to date and you will be able to see the new uh, information that I'm gathering. My focus every day is learning more about the human condition, learning about DNA imprinting, neurological pathways, choices, uh, how we create our reality. I'm just fascinated by the whole uh, subject of what it means to be human and how you can choose to be in the world. Also, my YouTube channel, which this will be posted on, please do subscribe to that if you're interested. Today, I want to talk a little bit about social signaling. We know that we have mirror neurons in our brain, so we are set up to imitate the behavior of those around us. And at a time when the correct behavior is so fragmented, that sends us whirling down into a kind of psychic chaos. Um, how do I connect? Who am I? What choices am I making? What generates my choices? These questions keep coming up over and over again. And one of the things I notice on uh, social media quite a bit is people are posting a projection. Think of it like a movie. Each person is a director and they are actually um, choosing the reality that they project out into the world. So for those who don't see COVID as a threat, what they will project out into the world is here we are with, with all our friends, we're having a good time, there's no problem. What we need to do as individuals is we need to stop leaning into the world to show us how to be. It's hard, it's really hard. And one of the ways that that's really hitting us right now is when you're standing across from a friend you've had for 20 years and they're telling you that the vaccine is killing their family and you're standing there going, we're on different planets. <laughs> you know, like, your sky is a different color than my sky. So we have a time when we are actually having our protective layer breaking off. And that protective layer is the, the rock and the mud and the encasing that comes from our shared beliefs. Sorry about that. So our shared beliefs. But now we're in a place where our shared beliefs are breaking off and we're feeling exposed and we're feeling tender and just that we're so open, like, how can I expect other people to take care of me if they don't believe the same thing I do? When you get to that question <clears throat> is when you are truly in your power. How do you take care of your, uh, yourself? You take care of yourself by knowing who you are, by paying attention to the messages that are coming up from your body, the sensations, and by using your inner compass. And what I talk about the inner compass, I mean it's your value system. Uh, for me, what is most valuable in my life is to try to take care of other people so I'm not damaging them from ignorance. So I, I look out for scientific information so that I can be free of guilt <laughs> You know, I often say, if I'm going to kill somebody, I want to do it intentionally, not <laughs> unintentionally. <laughs> you know, <laughs> So this is where we're all stuck right now. We're stuck in a world where we don't know, first of all, who we are if we're not following somebody else. <coughs> who is my tribe? What uniform should I wear? What parade should I get into? And the answer to that is none. 
It's a time to sit down with yourself. It's a time to go into your mind and to find out what you believe and what lifts your heart and what makes your body happy and healthy. And it's painful when we come to that place where we have to actually look at ourselves in a mirror. The question <clears throat> that I am seeing so many people deal with right now is, who am I? The next question, which really lifts my heart, is, who am I becoming? So where we want to get is we want to get to a place where we trust ourselves, we're at home in our bodies, we're at home in our minds, and we move into the world in a compassionate manner. Yay for that! Thank you.